pain and temperature two important critical sensory modalities with which we survive is carried by the lateral spinothalamic tract both pain and temperature are sensed by the free nerve endings pain is conducted to the spinal cord through two fibers the fast conducting fibers which actually um, tell you that the pain has initiated it will be a very rapid onset quick sharp stabbing sort of sensation and the slow conducting fibers keep their pain sensation in the form of a dull aching pain for quite some time the pathway of pain and temperature can be described as three parts technically called as the first order second order and third order neurons now you can see in the diagram number 1 being marked well below you can see number 2 marked all through the course of the tract and the three in the brain the first order neuron starts from the receptor and it goes through the posterior root ganglion and into the posterior horn of the spinal cord and there these fibers can ascend or descend few segments and they ultimately synapse completing the first order neuron and the second part which can be called as a second order neuron it crosses over as you can see there the two marked at the bottom of the slide you can see that it is crossing over to the opposite side and it lies in the lateral white column and there it keeps ascending through the spinal cord in the lateral white column and in the spinal cord you can see that the fibers are arranged as in the following way you can see that the ctls which is shown there the c represents the cervical t represents the thoracic l represents the lumbar and s the sacrum so what happens is the fibers keeps on getting added and therefore the sacral fibers are more medial but the last added cervical fibers are more lateral and it continues to go through the medulla and then the pons where it is actually joined by the spino tectal tract forming the spinal lemniscus it further goes through the midbrain so all through it is the second order neuron and it ends in the thalamus precisely at the uh, ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus and actually the tract is functional at the level of thalamus because it can perceive pain and temperature there but for ref reflex movement to happen this has to travel to the cortex the post central sensory region where the information is given and subsequently processing happens for appropriate motor response to happen we can see more clinical videos in this channel